Hey y'all, it's Laura and welcome back to my go-to design series where we're going through each and every one of my go-to designs that I create foundations for my pages with. If you'd like to see the very first one explaining this whole series, I will link that at the very end of the video so that you can get caught up. There will be about 15 videos in this series and they'll be up every single Saturday for the next couple of months. So let's head over to the desk and see which go-to design we're doing today. Today's go-to design is the L shape. Now, this one is something that I take a lot of liberties with. <laughs> My L-shaped layouts don't always look like this perfect L here. Uh, this was a scrap lift, I believe, of Melissa Vining, and I really loved her heavily defined L shape. I rarely do a super defined L shape, but I love the way that it looks. So I'm going to be doing it more and thought I would go ahead and include it. This layout uses two photos, one inside of a frame over here on the top left, one matted at the bottom. And the beauty of this layout and why I really like it, it's so different from what I normally do. I have a tendency to put my photos near the center of a layout. While they may not be in direct middle, usually they're at least close to the center of the layout to help draw your attention into them. In this case, however, the story was a big part of what I wanted to share on this layout, and so I gave it the place of honor instead. Obviously, my photos still stand out because I've avoided using the dark colors that are in the photos themselves, so they stand out being the only place on the page that you see these dark browns and kind of taupe colors in the background. This is achieved with a long strip going both vertically and horizontally, meeting at the apex, and then just filling it in with beautiful things. Quite often, if I'm going to do an L shape, I will just focus most of my embellishing here at the apex of the two strips, and then lightly embellish the rest, or focus my embellishing around a photo. So that is the first example. Here's another one. Now, like I said, I don't always do a super defined L shape. In this case, my embellishing and strip is down one side, and my title makes the second L shape here. My photo fits directly in the center. Like I was saying, that's my favorite spot. And it fits in quite nicely to the apex of the two areas. So where the vertical meets the horizontal is called the apex. And that's where I tend to put a bit more emphasis. This has three strips back behind my photo. And then my title is raised up on foam to help give it the same presence as this larger embellished piece. Now in this layout, I actually didn't paper piece a whole bunch of florals together. This was from a wreath paper. This little cluster here was sitting at the bottom of the wreath. I fussy cut it out, tucked it behind my photo as one big giant cluster. So just a little different idea of how you can go more vertical with your L shape. As I said, I'm not usually very good at keeping very tight L shapes. In this case, I have my photo coming this way and a large strip coming across. So it's still an L shape in the background design, but it's not perfectly connected in all the places. The apex is over here instead of over here. This is a bit more flowy, loose, whimsical design though, and I thought I could get away with that on this one. I've also added some washi in a very, very bright, shiny way at the top and the bottom and underneath of my photo, just as a continuation from top to bottom and to keep it all feeling very connected. I really like this loose, whimsical floral cluster that goes all the way from top to bottom, but it definitely still has the L shape to it. This layout looks a little bit more like a backwards L or maybe even an upside down T but it has the concept of the vertical meets the horizontal all the same. Now this one's a little bit different. This was using a very limited amount of supplies. So my clustering looks a little strange, I'll be honest, and pretty minimal for me. This was probably from a small kit. What were those called? Grab bag, a grab bag challenge from an SCT sampler kit. I used to do that a while ago. And so very minimal embellishing on this one also helps that I have so many photos. Three large busy photos help a lot to fill in the gaps here. My journaling as well. This one is particularly fun. A neat little spin on the L shape using banners instead of just strips. 
So I have banners going vertically and banners going horizontally to create that backwards L shape. I have my two photos popped up onto foam at the apex of the two sets of banners. And it's just a whole lot of fun focused in one area of the layout. So you don't have to fill the whole page. You can really just focus on that one spot. This one includes a lot of acetate and I've even tucked my journaling in here where it fits in this little gap below my photos. I really, really love this one. It's one of my favorites and I especially love the trickle of stars that just floats down this banner. A more tight and controlled L shape, but in this case, I've gone all the way from top to bottom, left to right with my strips. So with my first one, you saw that I had strips, but they kind of just, just shy of the edges. This one goes the entire way. So it really kind of sections off the layout into some grids here. And I've chosen to focus just on this larger piece of the grid. I have my photo again tucked into the apex with a lot of embellishment right here where the two pieces meet. I've got my title in tight with my photo as well as my journaling, but I do have some small little embellishments off to the side as well, just to fill in some of the white space. So this is another option to take that vertical and horizontal all the way to the edges of the paper. I really, really enjoy this one. Now again, this one's a little bit different, a little looser sized L. I have of course my giant floral explosion down one side, backed by some washi strips, and then washi strips across the bottom that complete the L. So this is a lot of fun. There's a lot more focus up here, obviously. These washi strips do not have quite as much going on as these washi strips, but I think this is a great deal of fun to play with and use a ton of florals. These are fussy cut out from a paper, I think. And they're quite lovely with lots of little bits and pieces off to the side. And my one photo directly in the center, a big title underneath. And I love all this white space out here. How beautifully does this balance out this gorgeous floral explosion? Absolutely love it. Because again, I've put all the focus here because that's where my photo is. And I try to do little tricks like that to bring the focus in to the photo. So here's another kind of loose L shape. Here's another one that technically would be more like a T, but again, you've got your vertical and your horizontal. So it doesn't have to be skinny little lines. You can go with thick pieces of pattern paper as well and do again, a little bit of embellishing at the apex, but because my photos are large and landscape, I have made sure to put them together and just put the title right down the center. This helps again, bring in attention straight to the photo and they do go straight to the apex of the two pieces of paper. Now this one has a bit more embellishing on the right side as well. Just because the photos themselves are so long in landscape, I wanted to make sure that I was accentuating the horizontal on this one instead of the vertical. And so I've done all of my embellishing on the sides as opposed to the top and bottom. So this was the last one that I have to show you for the L shape. I don't do this one quite as often as some of the others, like the vertical or the horizontals. That's definitely ones I lean into more, but this is one that has been gaining my interest a lot lately. So I definitely wanted to include it and show you some of my older versions of the L shape. This was such a fun video to do. I hope you've enjoyed it. We have new videos coming every single Saturday for the next month or so, showing you all of my go-to designs. I also have a playlist full of the ones I've already done that you can go back and catch up. There's about 15 or so videos in the entire series, and I'm having a ridiculous amount of fun going through these older layouts and giving you some ideas how you can use these designs for yourself. That's it for me this time, guys. Until next time, bye.